Christmas drama that we have presented for the last 30 years. Well, we've had over um, 1,700 actual reported salvations. Wow. We've had over uh, 250 uh, assurances and about 400 that have just actually responded to the altar for either healing or uh, wow. prayer. The star in Bethlehem sky opened my eyes. Well, John and Mary Fields are the ones, I must tell you, that was their vision, and, and I was just glad to be a part of that. But um, in the last several years, we have uh, taken parts of people's lives and how their testimony and how the Lord has uh, changed them. Um, it has been uh, a privilege to see um, how their life has changed, and, and so their testimony is what it is what's touching people's heart. My own testimony. I, I thought that I was going to go to heaven because I was at a certain church, and I was born a Christian, and my parents were Christians, uh, until I realized what Jesus did for me, and that I had to ask Him for forgiveness and come into my heart. Uh, that's, that's my testimony, and that's in that drama. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. All the support that everybody gives, especially the pastors. They're in a manger, an innocent babe. It's with the jail and uh, prison ministries. Well, uh, believe it or not, I can't hardly believe it, but it's been uh, almost 40 years, about, uh, about 38 years, I think we started in uh, 83. No, 84. Yeah. 84. Believe it. Especially in the beginning, uh, we used to go to, into some of the federal pr prisons, state prisons, uh, with different organizations and groups. But now, for the last uh, maybe 10, 15 years, we've probably been mostly, mostly concentrating on the local pr uh, jails. Newton County is yep. the one. Right now, we got a schedule where we go, uh, I go once a month and it's uh, scheduled for the second Sunday. Uh, Rachel Lockett, who is uh, the lady uh, that uses, that goes with the ladies, uh, uh, on, she goes every other month because it's not quite as many ladies as we have men. A lot of times I've been asked to go visit someone that uh, I'm acquainted with and sometimes I know that they're in there and, uh, and we cross paths again and so forth and so it's been a blessing to, uh, to be able to minister to them. And I do hear from them occasionally. Uh, a lot of times you don't hear where they go next. Uh, there have been times when I get a phone call or run into them uh, different places and it's a blessing to know that, uh, that things have happened in their lives and made a difference. It's been a blessing and I look forward to continuing. Amen. Amen. Pastor of the Disciples of Christ Church in Togo, West Africa, working in the jungles deep in the bush, one of the poorest places on earth. Shining in the dark. During the last year, with the help of Prospect United Methodist Church, I planted three new churches and prayed for over 700 people who got saved and received Jesus as their personal savior. My goal is to plant 50 churches on the Togolese territory and see thousands of souls saved. I really appreciate the efforts of Prospect. Whilst at now, their flag is flying over three churches named Prospect, Akwekaka, which means thank you.